Please note the incredible role of the lower leg and foot in facilitating human behaviors. The tibialis posterior is Tom. The flexor digitorum longus is Dick. The flexor hallucis longus is Harry or Hal. Peroneus brevis is our B for bacon. The peroneus longus is our L for lettuce. The peroneus tertius is our T for tomato. I'm not sure how hungry I am. What are you ordering? I don't know. What's good here? No idea. It's my first time eating here. What sounds good? Do they have any specials? Uh, the maid doesn't say any. Uh, should we ask someone? Shh. The table next to us is asking the waitress. What can I get for you guys? What's good here? You can't go wrong with the soup of the day. No. I need something more filling than a soup. Tell me, what's good here? All right. Tell you what. The BLT is probably the best thing on the menu. It's settled. Three BLTs then. Sounds good. That actually sounds pretty good. All right then. If Tom, Dick, and Harry want a BLT, so do I. Now that we're all feeling hungry, let's see how Tom, Dick, and Harry, and BLT apply to some of the muscles of the lower leg. Here are the muscles of the lower leg tibialis posterior, flexor digitorum longus, flexor hallucis longus, peroneus brevis, peroneus longus, peroneus tertius. These muscles play a key role for many movements that are essential for many aspects of human movement.